hello good morning my name is Mohammad Asim welcome to cloud Asim YouTube channel today we are going to cover DevOps roadmap for 2024 uh, I will be creating this roadmap from the scratch and we will going to cover uh, what is in the current market what are the requirement and what are the prerequisites to be uh, to complete the roadmap uh, learning of the DevOps right and let's go and check it out uh, why DevOps engineers are required right if you check in the current market the DevOps engineer are highly demandable in current market based on US or foreign market or Indian market right DevOps actually is a concept right where you required DevOps uh, development team and the operation team there is an integrated part the DevOps engineer is responsible to integrate these two things and solve the, all the issue, uh, issues related to software development cycle continuous integration to have continuous deployment right so if you go for the devops implementation what does it require right so actually why devops implementation is required to uh, to scale your infrastructure right to manage the complex uh, of the system without any risk to rapid response to the alternative reads of the customer current market okay whatever the bugs fix section is there you you you're going to make it quicker okay you require uh, increase the time uh, time of the team collaboration depends on the team different team as devops and the operation team are two different teams okay development team is different operation team you are making a collaboration between the interacting with the devops guy okay enhancing the quality based on the new uh, new tools integration security enhancement and everything right and the cost optimization based on your requirement of your infrastructure of your application okay these are the part uh, which uh, the devops engineers required and it will be using devops guy to implement these things okay so devops guys uh, they love doing automation right complete deployment in multiple environment you can have the dev stage based on your requirement pre prod uh, UAT based on your pre -band. so love this DevOps guys usually they, they love the automation right so in this case why as I said the DevOps required software development cycle uh, knowledge and everything okay so they are required to scale the infrastructure manage complex systems troubleshoot box fixation enhance the quality cost optimization as I mentioned all things to be covered up okay end of the day as the integration of DevOps, uh, DevOps engineer what you're going to get it right so in this stage the output what will be there the output is there you will receive the fast delivery the higher quality of your application right less expenditure and the operation expenses he will cost optimize you okay so now if you want to transfer your career from non it to uh, it devops right or you are having any different domain of in the it and you want to make it uh, convert into devops in here right so what the roadmap you should follow as based on the 2024 the main thing is that if you are coming transferring your career from non-IT or different domain to the DevOps domain and you are, uh, you are inspired by any YouTube channel uh, guys or any outsider just to have that it's a lot of trending in the market DevOps and there is a lot of amount uh, salary being paid high please don't go with that okay because DevOps is a concept where you have to have your basics fundamentals strong very strong right so based on that uh, i recommend you that uh, you know if you want to career make your career in the devops you should follow this roadmap okay which is very simple and i have specified in two phases okay the first space if you want to co cover your uh, journey right into the devops engineer and you don't have any knowledge or you, you have a basic knowledge or you want to enhance your devops then you should have the software development life cycle knowledge okay so this is a where the uh, this software development life cycle where you specify the how the software develops in the IT industry okay what are the phases so you should have the basic concept what are the sessions required right okay like designing development testing deployment maintenance these are the basic uh, six analyzing is the first phase where they analyze what are the based on the market condition which our application is demanded or no these are all the phases you should have the basic information like uh, agile methodology waterfall methodology this basic you should have okay okay the thing is that when you see the devops actually the people pretend that it's only the combination of tools like having jenkins law like cicd docker kubernetes uh, like security ansible terraform right to have this basic uh, to have this expert in knowledge you require to have the phase one first okay if your base is not strong if you don't have the basic knowledge of software development cycle then afterwards the linux operating system okay after you are completing the basic you should have the linux operating system or any operating system it can be linux or the window but mostly in our uh, software development cycle we are software development we are using linux operating system so you should have all the linux uh, uh, the, the uh, like uh, you should be very strong in linux operating system you should know how that uh, 
editor a nano editor any file editor works how you know all like scripting knowledge or you should know how to access your server okay you're creating vm machine so you require the knowledge of ssh you may require of the no uh, networking also ip tables anything so in this case you're creating the users of linux operating system right where you're going to future deploy your application whatever the application you're going to deploy so for that you required uh, uh, you require software development cycle as i mentioned right so this is the pre-request right after that you should go for the linux operating system you should have very strong linux operating systems at least you have to spend two weeks of uh, linux operating system maybe it will take around six to seven sessions where they will uh, explain everything like learning from the scratch what is operating system or the linux operating system the family debian family centos linux operating system complete knowledge of linux and the practicing of linux then you go ahead with source code management system okay source code management system here the source code manager where you're going to store your code there you require to have the github knowledge which okay. is after having this one then you should have the branching knowledge of the of your uh, your branching strategy of the source code manager right so the branding strategy is is, uh, uh, is very important you should have all the knowledge related to that okay after completion of these two parts then you have to go ahead with you have to go ahead with networking okay you should have the networking information that how does your server communicate with your uh, vm v how you can access your servers using sss port right sss port or https port where your application is accessible right https port https port right or, or uh, uh, let's say you are having a, any database right in that case you require to have 3003 right where your application is working so you have to open this port where you have to have inbound rule and the outbound rule right outbound rule so this part you require to have all the knowledge okay so you have to be perfect in first first three four parts right so as i mentioned uh, this you should have the four knowledge of this first you should have the basic knowledge of the software development cycle then you should have a uh, uh, operating system knowledge linux operating system then you should have source code grid bra uh, git a uh, branching strategy right git is a tool which you have branching strategy you uh, you're making source code map right so with that then you should have network okay this is a phase one if you're very perfect with this then you can go with the phase two okay then only you should be able to know what uh, you can how you can access okay in order to use this uh in order to practice and everything you should have uh, the knowledge basic knowledge of aws cloud okay or any relevant cloud it can be azure it can be gcp it can be good id anywhere based on your use case but i do recommend to go with aws because the support of aws very vast you can find a lot of blogs the community AWS community very active on the youtube also you find a lot of videos you can practice it easily but still based on your use case or based on your learning interest you can go with azure aws or go gcp google cloud right so this is the thing where you can create one vpc uh, one virtual machine that is ec2 and install the operating system on that and uh, pull the code from the github and networking everything you can do it right so if you're very good with this one phase one take a very good like take at least four to eight weeks of learning these things practice continuously then you go for second phase okay so let's go for the second phase second phase is an expert level or you say all the devops uh, devops integration take parts okay and in the second part you should have the knowledge of any programming or scripting knowledge right as i say that devops engineer loves scripting to automate your multiple tasks instead of uh, writing a lot of like uh, steps to deploy your application or to automate your application backups uh, take your backups or deploy copy uh, uh, automate uh, uh, like disaster recovery everything there you require to use any programming language or scripting language okay it can be bash scripting shell scripting okay even you can use a uh, node uh, you can use any python scripting okay or you should have any basic uh, knowledge of any programming language how actually the application works in any one language okay if for example if you're going with node.js application right which is trending node javascript there you know actually you should have the information that how the application works actual working huh? so you should have minimum one uh, one programming language at least the basic level how the application in real time environment works so you can uh, check out all the tutorials or anything this also available on my youtube channel how to deploy or how to execute your you know uh, we have covered one uh, bingo application which was a node.js react application right there we have already mentioned the basic what is required of the structure 
architecture of the node.js application right you can find any youtube uh, videos also related that you should have the basic concepts how actually the node.js or any programming language works right to update our applications uh, to automate our tasks you should have at least shell scripting right shell scripting or bash scripting okay bash scripting knowledge you got it then afterwards you should have database knowledge right every application war is interconnected with the database all the database all this information of the application like if you have a cart uh, cart module okay for example if i'm taking for simple uh, to simplify you i'll not take much if you're going for sbi uh, application right there you have logging information right login is there uh, then you have cards credit card and debit card information right credit card debit card information uh, then you have uh, let's say uh, um, FD right you have FD information right banking balance and everything right then you have transfer transfer your amount right so this all things related to the database so whenever the user logins the, that data, this data will be stored over here based on verification the card information will be in database fd information will be in database and the banking database and you have transfer if you want to transfer everything transfer and and uh, locks also right when you have access this application and everything stores in database so you should have the basic information of database also right every application has a database attached with them it can be postgres database it can be any mysql database there is multiple but still you should have any one minimum one database information okay so that you should uh, know how the application real time works right so this is also fine so after that okay when our application is uh, done right using these things with the database so we will create one uh, what we will create one ci cd pipeline right we will create one ci cd pipeline right after this we will create one ci cd pipeline to auto deploy our application always to automate our task like to build to test to deploy right to alert if the code fails that alert has to go to the development team right here we are using ci cd and we can use jenkins is very largely used based on our requirement uh you can go with uh, even with the azure repos or azure ci cd even you can go with uh, aws ci cd also but the recommended is to go with the jenkins the concept is of the ci cd is everything is similar but the tools uh conceptual is different right so our uh, suggestion is to go with ci cd okay here we are going with the conventional way as i mentioned that we are going with node.js and we are using uh, the tools right uh, here if i want to make my application one so maybe i'll use with npm install npm npm run okay npm run okay to make it application manually but uh, in the real time scenario now if you go for any application like hotstar or anything right if i'm going for hotstar there you will see that all their application is dockerized okay dockerized in the sense uh simple dockerized in the sense is a containerization of your application this application we will container we will we will pack this will create an image and we will pack this application okay uh this application this application right this application in container and we will take that container and we will deploy where our uh, server are there in the, as a containers right we can create uh, we can make thousand containers right or uh, for this application and thousand containers contain one one application right is serve one application right so here you can deploy a docker container so that uh, will pack all the dependencies of this application will uh, take everything of this application like dependencies uh, dependencies uh, the steps uh, and uh, the commands what is required to up and run everything right as we are doing manually we can we are making docker container out of that okay and we can manage uh, with the docker container right so now the docker container we have thousand containers as we specified is highly impossible to manage this uh, thousand containers manually right just to go and make manually using a command to make your application up down everything in this case kubernetes come in place okay kubernetes is architecture architect uh, orchestration application right so if you check uh, any if you remember right uh, where uh, there is a one we uh, there is a one hollywood movie right uh, where you will see that one captain okay if you take an example how this ship managed is managed by the lever right with the lever they manage right so this is actually a lever which is managing the docker containers you require some application to con to manage your application right so in this case we are using we are going with the docker 
uh, Kubernetes orchestration, right? Here, what is that? It will automate your uh, container counts, right? Based on your incoming traffic. Let's say in the spot short time, my traffic increased from 1K to 2K, right? 2k so in this case the uh, kubernetes will verify will get all the information that the traffic has increased so the kubernetes will increase my container from 1000 to 2000 okay whenever the drop again come as a users okay so the uh, kubernetes will destroy will kill my containers that is pods right in the pods we have the containers okay this architecture is different this can be covered is already covered on my youtube channel you can go it out okay so if you want to learn uh, kubernetes prerequisite that you should have the information of docker without docker you cannot learn kubernetes right so this is interconnected with this okay and this is uh, right you should have the knowledge of docker then you can expertise in the kubernetes which is a prerequisite now in the trending in the market now everything you have done till here right everything you have done till here everything you have done till here but how do you going to serve this uh, our your application to the user server right this is our server which you are hosting here there is a in web server is coming into play that can be nginx or apache right uh, these two servers are very famously known so you should have the basic knowledge of a one for some server that is nginx right nginx is a server if you're going for the java java based application then you should have tomcat right core java so at least you should have one one web server knowledge right to serve to the client so my request will go as a user right as a user my request goes from here i'm a user right i'm accessing my application my application is uh, as i said that this is a sbi right so my sbi request will go to the nginx server nginx server will transfer my request to the front end of my code then the from from here then it will go to the database right so you will customize with the configuration file over here how your request should be handled okay so this minimum knowledge you should have of this web servers right this is very maybe you'll take a three to four sessions of this and you will be able to complete okay now you have did every single thing up to now but you have missed the security part right we don't know our code what uh what vulnerabilities available in the code okay is our keys exposed right keys exposed security keys right or the aws sort resource keys okay or duplication of code huh? code quality right code quality everything so the developer had is the code they have pushed to the github from the github we pull the code we use ci cd and we deploy to let's say to the stage environment right to stage environment you will have multiple environments in in real time scenario okay so developer had right written the course he did everything he have pushed the code as uh, you have created as a devops engineer cic pipeline everything has done but we don't know what are the vulnerabilities available in our code which we have written over here in the database also to in order to add this we added security tools right the security is sonar cube which is very code uh, a static code analysis okay it will code everything like if you have a keys exposed uh, you are exposing anything thread the quality of your code duplication of your code okay any suggestion of code and everything will be covered over here okay this also you should have the basic it will take basically three to four sessions as i mentioned that in the four sessions you can learn complete uh, sonar cube but after completing this part at least this part you should complete okay after completing this part you can go with a uh, basic information okay ci cd setup then you can integrate a sonar cube in the ci cd okay so it will learn this uh as I mentioned, to know to learn this CI CD, you should have uh, sorry to have if you want to learn Sonar Cube, you should have the knowledge of Jenkins because Sonar Cube is integrated with any CI CD tool. It can be Circle CI, uh, like uh, CI CD Jenkins or any another uh, CI CD tool, right? So the prerequisite that you should have the Jenkins, okay? <laughs> then afterwards, if you are going with the Docker images, right? If you are going with the Docker images, then you should scan your Docker image, right? to install to scan docker image you require one more tool information that is aqua tv which scan your docker images okay before deploying to the production or the stage environment okay so you require a tool information of this right
tool information of this okay so this also you can add uh, the advantage for you to have the knowledge of this one okay now everything is done everything you have done till here right till here you're done you have done everything you have deployed in production environment that is production environment right production environment then you required monitoring of this our server right our application then you required a monitoring tool as the knowledge of a prometheus right the prometheus knowledge or you can go with cloud watch if you're going with any cloud they have their own monitoring tool right azure also have azure watch right like for example i'm giving i'm not familiar with the name of this azure service but they have the same service okay where you can monitor your application the logs who access uh, uh resources that uh, what how much ram is taking uh, okay how much storage it has is our storage is insufficient okay is ram is consuming high the load on your server is high that you can make all this uh, all these stats okay by creating the matrix right matrix matrix dashboard okay this knowledge will come later on okay this more this knowledge will come later on okay now you have done every single thing you have learned all this flow afterwards you required to have the knowledge of knowledge of okay infrastructure as code okay you can go with uh two steps if you want to create one vm then you can go with uh you know you can go with uh manually you can go to the console of aws or anyone then you can create it but let's say you want to make it a thousand uh thousand ec2 instance or thousand vm in the environments right on your account or in your info company for there you have to write you have to go with infrastructure as code okay this is the expert level where you have to learn to create aws infrastructure code with that code you can create security groups you can create vpc you can create subnet and you and everything you can create and you can key use a script to deploy your application also okay in the created vms okay there you can require terraform terraform usually required to create the infrastructure okay create specify the infrastructure you can create multiple instance based on your configurations and the zone where you have mentioned there you require the keys to, of your account to integrate with with terraform okay to communicate terraform with the core services you require the security access keys okay this you require the later stage where you require to add on on your skills okay you got my point okay then afterwards uh you require ansible information the ansible basically let's say uh, i have my application where you have to install one uh one uh package right i want to install one package anyway right in uh, i have thousand servers which is serving my applications right thousand vm application my server right i want to go and update one package so i cannot go manually and update package in this case i require ansible as a configuration management tool where i will link this thousand uh, servers to my ansible uh, ansible server in the playbooks right i will create some configuration file with that file i will communicate with my server right it's a push mechanism i will push this updated package to my thousand server at a one single click here you require to have yaml knowledge right yaml is simple yet another markup language okay is a human readable language and uh, to be add on you should have the yaml language right even uh, the docker part right the docker and the kubernetes that also been used in yaml language configuration okay so you should have the basic yaml later on uh, this is uh, you can learn in two three tutorials if you follow my uh the roadmap which i have mentioned you i'll be making you sure that you will be expert in devops okay so my uh, my suggestion is simple that you first clear your phase one okay you should have the basic knowledge of the uh, software development cycle then learn the operating system linux operating system as well as the windows operating system use a local environment your local operating system or any vm machine i will say that create a ec2 instance which is a free right provided by amazon free account create account over here practice everything get fail uh, get errors debug that okay debug that share your knowledge on uh, linkedin when you are learning whatever you have learned share your knowledge all the knowledge as a learning on the linkedin and try to learn in open so uh, in the open and share in the open okay 
that means share in the linkedin or hash node is a blog where you can uh, go and share your your blog in the written format even you can use medium uh, is a blogging site where you can share all your learning in openly okay for that whenever you start learning don't forget to add as a knowledge based document okay create knowledge based document kd right so where you specify everything you keep for your references in your own language that what steps you have found with the screenshot uh, with the uh, 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 with the screenshot with the command and everything okay with the command and screenshot and everything you keep it over there okay keep your documents with you and try to keep updated be updated in linkedin create one best profile in the linkedin and in the hash note daily update okay uh, and update in the medium try to cover up as many as in one week okay with this i'll be sharing all this uh, document even i will share you like uh, you know all the document of this um, roadmap right roadmap i will share this roadmap uh, uh, pdf even i will share you the document what is devops okay what uh, steps required as i mentioned that we already covered gain uh, gate jenkins docker you know uh, sonar cube amazon cloud uh, you should have basic one uh, cloud services ansible kubernetes okay these are the basic uh, daily tasks daily practices okay the responsibility this everything you can check on the internet you will get everything okay don't uh, don't uh, go any any uh, like don't get in trap that uh, devops is easy but by practicing everything you can conquer everything right you can conquer it to conquer every milestone just follow the things what i have mentioned be perfect in phase one second phase two will be very easy for you and you you'll be very thankful to me also that you'll stay that uh, by going with the phase one i have expertise so phase two is very easy for me okay so thank you very much don't forget to share with your friends uh, share in the devops community also and be connected with our channel thank you very much